Hi, I'm Pete Erickson, and today we're going to review the posterprinters.com. They're a big printing house in Brooklyn, New York, and they've asked me to do a review of their website, so here we are. Now, before I get into the website itself, uh, we're going to talk about the two big problems that this site has. One is you can't find this site in Google if you're looking for their services like uh, posters, billboards, large format printing, transit, signage. And two, uh, this website doesn't convert. I'm betting that it's um, people that are getting to the site are probably uh, running away. They're not, they're not contacting the company. Now, before we get into uh, the website, I'd like to talk about the search engine optimization issues that are going here. There is one bright spot here. If we do a search for poster printers Brooklyn, New York, we see that the poster printers do show up in Google right here, um, poster printers, and they have this hooked up to their uh, website, so if we click into it, it'll take it um, take you to their website, and that's great. And we're going a little slow today for some reason, but I know this is going to take, oh, here we go. Now, one thing that uh, this company can do if we click into the Google part of the site is to uh, post reviews. Now, there's some basic information here, and there's the opportunity to write a review for the site. Google uh, does take this into consideration, and on because local, local search is popular, uh, what I would recommend is get some of your best customers to go here and start writing reviews on the company and make sure you check off uh, the rating of five stars here. Okay, now let's take a look at the bad news of the search uh, information. We're going to look at uh, some uh, data that we pulled up with our software and we're going to look at the keywords poster printing which is something that they do now poster printing if we uh, take a look at the activity of poster printing we'll see that there's a fair amount of search uh, volume for it as well as other printing related searches poster printing here if you look across people are searching for poster printing in google 2400 times a day so it's a pretty heavily searched term in fact it's very heavily searched and that's globally but um, if we're trying to optimize uh, to get found in here, what we look at is we look at the top 10 companies that are getting found when you type in poster printing in Google. Now, even if we look at the l number 10 slot here, printingcenterusa.com, uh, we see, uh, we look at some data here, and we, we see that it has a page rank of four, which is pretty high. It has 77,000 back links to that page, it means 77,000 other websites are pointing links to uh, this page and uh, 21,000 um, uh, websites are linking to the domain and that's tough to beat so even the number 10 slot this domain has been around for eight years as we can see here um, it, it's going to be a, a, a tough company to beat it take a lot of time and money to uh, beat this site so what do we do well there are really two options one option is we can go specific we can optimize this website for uh, one of their major product lines. And I don't know how their product lines break out in terms of sales and profits, but I just picked one, outdoor signage. Um, outdoor signage is something that this company could win on uh, in Google if they chose to. And what we're looking at here is, is uh, outdoor signage, and we see that the data shows us that there are 595 searches a day for outdoor signage. You know, that's, that's pretty good. And if we look at the competition, there's a lot less competition here. Even uh, this uh, number two uh, result here, it's three years old, page rank of three, which is similar to the posterprinters.com page rank, which, um, and page rank is something that Google assigns to each website. The higher the number, it scales from uh, zero to 10, um, the more important it is in um, Google's eyes. Uh, three is, it's okay, it's not great. Um, uh, five is pretty strong as this number one is. Five is tough to beat. Uh, and then backlinks to this particular domain, 300 uh, links. So, you know, this is, this is a somewhat strong site, not terribly strong. You, it can, you can win against this. So go after um, a specific, in fact, you could build an entire website, just outdoor signage, uh, newyork.com or something like that, and probably drive uh, some good traffic uh, to it. The other way to approach it, though, is to do it geographically and really go after uh, the New York area. And if their customer base is the greater uh, New York area, then this is, this is the option I would likely choose. Once you optimize the site geographically, things get a lot easier. Now, if we look at the um, traffic for Printing New York, you'll see that uh, New York Print, uh, Printing New York, uh, there, are eight, there are almost 900 searches a day for Printing New York. Now, 
Printing New York can mean a lot of things, but you see that people are out there uh, looking for it. New York's a big area, and this website can win on printing New York. So if we go look at the competition, um, you, know, you have Kinko's up here, you have uh, some, some other companies, but look at, look at number um, 11 here. Let's look at number 10, this printing company. They've been around for eight years. The page rank is three, which is the same as uh, printing posters. Uh, backlinks are 86. Um, not a lot of optimization on the page. Uh, absolutely beatable uh, uh, in Google. So uh, a geographic uh, search engine optimization is something I would absolutely do for this company if, in fact, they're going after more local business. Okay, so that's the search side of it. I'm just going to check my uh, cheat sheet here a little bit. Let's talk about, let's go back to the website and have a look. And here we go. All right, first thing right off the bat, visually very confusing. There's a lot happening on the site, and this site suffers from I'm trying to do everything all at once at the same time, and that's inherently getting in its way. It's uh, trying to be flashy and literally flashy here, which is uh, proven to drive people away, and I think uh, yellow and red is proven to actually induce migraines in some people. Um, and then it even if you scroll down here, which by the way, people don't scroll, and we're looking at an average size laptop screen here. Mm -hmm. If you scroll down, you'll see that um, there's more information here that is just completely lost because people don't scroll. Um, okay, so the other thing too that's getting in the way, this is all this is a very image-driven mm -hmm. website, and Google needs real link text to get to sub pages, and it needs real link text to mm -hmm. figure out what a website's about. And on this homepage, there's very little text on here. If I if I click and I drag this, you'll see that this isn't text. This is actually an image that uh, is here. This is an, an image. This is an image. None of this text is real text. Google doesn't know what to do with it. It doesn't know how to classify this website. So you can achieve a, a, a great look and feel with real text uh, that sits on top of imagery rather than um, using uh, just straight images to, to uh, produce text. Uh, even the navigation up here. <laughs> This is, these are images. This is not text, so Google can't crawl through these. Now, these here are, this is real text, so Google can get, get in here. Now, um, there's, a, there's just a ton of stuff going on here, and what you have to do on a website is you have to hold people's hands when they get to your site. If I'm a potential buyer for printing services, and I go to the site, I probably have a specific need like outdoor signage or a, a side of a bus or maybe some posters. And I just don't even know where to begin. I, I'm forced to look at the navigation because I don't know any anything else, and um, and I might I might click on here. But first first up in the sales funnel for any website is to build trust. Now, if we go look at the about page, you'll see here that this this is a great picture that's going to come up. Um, it's a picture of the inside of the company, the, all their hardware that they have. And right off the bat, I say, wow, you know, it's great to have an about us page. It's the second or third most important page on a website and I'm getting a great picture here because it shows that this is a larger company. When I go back to the home page, anybody could have put this together. This looks like a piece of stock photography, um, lots of blinking and flashing. I, I, have, I, don't have a, I don't get a sense at all about what this company is about. Uh, it takes uh, the About Us page to do so. I understand that they do. Uh, they uh, they work six days a week. They have 24-hour uh, production. Um, you know they're the real deal. And this kind of information should be brought forward to the home page. So when I get to the home page, the first thing I see are some photos of the company, of their equipment, of their benefits. Um, you know, in other words, we're, we're experienced. We work six days a week, 24 hours a day. Uh, we're here in New York, and uh, y you'll want to do business with us because we'll get it done right. What I'm seeing here is free shipping. I mean, free shipping. Uh, I'm not really, I have a need. My need is to print something of quality and make sure I don't throw my money away. And free shipping is not speaking to that need. If you enjoyed this video, consider having your own website reviewed. We offer a no strings attached video website review and all you have to do is head on over to website reviews that's website-reviews.net fill out your name your email and your website address and we will deliver to you a video which will show you how to build your business